Hello guys, this is Mauro from InputInfoTech.com and on this video I want to show you how to make a uh, full backup of Windows 10 and it's always important to have a backup and before making any changes on your system before an upgrade or just to uh, be prepared if uh, you have a hardware failure or something happens uh, you have a way to go back so there is um, a number of ways that you can make a full backup of what can be considered a full backup uh, Microsoft will like you to use OneDrive to keep your files safe uh, on the uh, on the web. Um, you know, safe from losing them. And I'm not saying safe for security reasons. You know, sometimes you might not agree with the security uh, approach from different services. You so you might opt out to use OneDrive. That being said, if you use OneDrive, and there's also um, a tool. Let me let me show you really quick that you can go to up, update and security on, on settings and then go to recovery and you can use the um, reset this PC and on Windows 10 you don't need the files to reinstall the operating system but you can technically um, use this to reinstall Windows and just get all your files back uh, from OneDrive so and that's one way to have a, a full backup of your system. Uh, that being said, um, what I like to do if I'm just needing a, a full backup for a, a short period of time, uh, uh, what I like to uh, do is um, go to control panel and I like to use the uh, view large icons. And then there is the uh, backup and restore uh, from Windows 7 which is the same feature found in Windows 7 and there is the uh, create a system image backup that's which uh, allow us to make uh, a full backup of our system which will include all your files programs operating system and everything that it's on on your system uh, you will need an external drive uh, to make the, uh, uh, the the full backup, you can burn it to a DVD, but that will take a lot of DVDs. And you can also use a network location, so you can share a folder from another computer and just make the backup that way. But uh, today we're going to be using an external hard drive that I plugged in via USB, and, and then I'm just going to click um, next. And here's going to show you what's going to backup. In this case, it's going to backup the most important drive, which is the um, the C drive, the system resource system, and the Windows recovery environment, which basically is everything that it's on uh, that it's on your computer that's uh, on on one of the drive. If you have different drives, so they will be listed here, and you can make a backup of those two. So this is meant to like make a full backup of everything. But you have to keep in mind that making a full backup will only keep a version of your files until the last backup. So like if you modify a file and something goes wrong and then you go back uh, with the uh, with the full backup, the uh, those files on those documents on the uh, on the backup will be outdated. So that's something to keep in mind. This is more to recover your operating system. You you want to have always almost every day a backup of your files too, which you can easily do uh, with uh, with uh, OneDrive. They will always stay up to date. So uh, once you know that and you plugged in your, um, your external hard drive and you can start the backup, you just click start backup and the uh, process will will take any and, and you know it can take like five minutes 30 minutes to an hour it depends on the um, data that you have inside of your system so I'm gonna pause the uh, video I'm gonna come back when the um, when the uh, when the system Im image is finished all right guys after the uh, backup have uh, successfully completed we'll get this um, uh, prompt uh, to create a uh, system repair disk which essentially uh, allow us to uh, uh, boot our computer into the uh, recovery environment um, of Windows to uh, use the uh, backup and recover um, uh, using the uh, this image that we just created uh, you wanna do that or you can 
alternatively use the um, Windows 10 uh, installation media to get to the same uh, uh, recovery tools. You only have to uh, click yes and then just choose to drive uh, to create the um, uh, the CD or DVD. Uh, a CD will will do just fine. I don't have a uh, CD or DVD drive on my on my computer, so in this case, if uh, we'll, if if I were to use this backup to uh, uh, recover, I will have to use the installation um, media of Windows 7. Once you're done, click Create Disk, and that's all you have to uh, do. Then just uh, close the uh, dialog box, and let me show you really quick that if we go to this PC, uh, this is the drive that I connected, my external drive, and you will see that the uh, Windows Image Backup folder. I'm gonna click Yes, and we'll see the uh, uh, name of the computer which is the folder, click OK and then inside of the uh, backup you will see the date when it was created with a unique ID and if we go to this backup folder we'll see that there's a bunch of files but there's one in particular that is the uh, with the biggest side right here which contains all the files um, basically what you can do with this if you need to uh, access the uh, the backup to recover uh, any files or anything go to this management and let me see if uh, it's all right it's right here this is the uh, this is the drive so what we need to uh, do is just uh, change the letter number and this game is just going to use the uh, e and now we can actually get inside of uh, of the uh, of the drive and get access to all the files and just recover it. So after you get all the files, you simply come back to the uh, disk management and make sure that, it, uh, that you're about to change the settings on the uh, correct drive. In this case, is the uh, E. So I'm just going to click the attach VHC and you see the name of the file right there, that's the uh, virtual disk and that should match with the um, with the file that is inside of the backup which is this one right here that's the uh, 501F and all the zeros and then if we go back you see that it's the same that's the same uh, a file which is click OK and that will detach the uh, VHDX and and that's basically how you go back and get uh, your files back you know in case of uh, you just need to recover one file um, so that was like an extra bonus for this video I hope this video was informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing